What we're going to look at here is how to express times in both word form and in digital clock form. Now let's start at the top here. The first one we see is 415. Now when we're looking at this, 4, the first number, will represent the hours. The hours will come first, and 15 will represent the number of minutes after the fourth hour. And the way we write this is we put 4, and then a colon, and then the number 15 for the number of minutes. That's how we represent 415. It's the same thing with 1230. 12 is the number of hours, and then after the colon, we represent the number of minutes that have passed after the 12th hour, in this case, 30. So if we have 625, we take that 6 and we write it in word form as 6, and then the number 25. And as you will probably have guessed, we could do the same exact thing for our word form at the bottom, which is 810. The hour comes first, 8, 10, the number of minutes that have passed. This is how you write times in word form and in digital clock form.